Hi, in this video I'll be briefly exploring the concept of abstraction and how it relates to the digital technologies learning area. But firstly, let's have a look at the definition. Abstraction is the process of reducing complexity to define the main idea or a concept. It is essentially the ability to filter out information that isn't necessary to solve a certain type of problem. For example, on this slide I have six shapes, all the different colours and sizes, but we can abstractly refer to these as triangles. We use abstraction in our everyday lives. When someone asks us what we did on our weekend, we don't refer to every single thing that we did, such as getting out of bed, eating breakfast. We might actually just generally refer to some key information that might interest or be relevant to the person asking, such as an event I went to or an activity I did. Essentially, it's a summary. Abstraction can also be used to describe things, such as saying we are listening to music instead of naming every band that we were listening to, or when we say we have pets. We can also abstract procedures, such as asking someone to turn down the music. We don't describe every single step in that process, but the person we are telling to turn the music down knows what we mean. Can you think of any other situations where you apply abstraction? Or perhaps some situations which might be familiar to students? How is abstraction relevant to computer science, you might ask? Well, there are different types of abstraction, but some examples that computer scientists might use, which are relevant to digital technologies as a learning area, might involve some of these. For example, we have procedural abstraction, which is the ability to describe an instruction that has a specific and limited function, such as giving an instruction like closing the door or asking students to uh, paste a page in their book. Data abstraction is also another process, which involves ignoring irrelevant data and drawing on important data to solve problems. For example, this is what doctors typically do when they see a patient. They ignore facts like what eye colour or what hair colour they have, but they'll be drawing on data like blood pressure, temperature and patient symptoms. Abstraction by specification is another process that computer scientists use. It involves describing what a procedure does or what something can do without telling every minute detail that led to that procedure being done. For example, telling a client what a program does. Here we have some examples of activities that involve abstraction in other learning areas. For example, in maths, students could group 2D or 3D shapes and label them. They could play a guessing game to try and figure out what shape that generally might be. In science, students could explore commonalities and differences between things such as animals, insects, plants, and students could sort them into different groupings. In drama, students could work in pairs or groups to become artists and create a sculpture that depicts a poem, a song or a story. Students then describe why they created their sculpture the way that they did. In literacy, after listening to a class story, students could design a new title and a new cover page for the book that they just read. The process of abstraction allows us to see patterns where problem solving processes can be used in different situations. For example, reading strategies, solving problems in mathematics, conducting science experiments, summarizing events or stories, or puzzle based learning. Abstraction is an important part to developing algorithms and we'll explore this in coming modules. Thank you.